Hello, I'm Evi. I'm the creator of these fountains. As you can hear, I'm not a Native American. My wife, a girl from Northern California, imported me in 2006. And uh, yeah, I was in the art scene in Germany for a long time and uh, since 2006, since I came here, I do fountains. Pet fountains, more or less. And these pet fountains are have a bowl where the water is in and a lid where the cat or the dog, mostly cats, can drink off. Inside are filters. In this kind, in this case, it's a 360 filter, a pump, a DC pump. DC pumps are quieter than AC pumps. And DC pumps have the uh, advantage that you can uh, power the DC pumps with uh, battery as well. So in this case, we have here a USB battery, USB adapter, or you can power the pump with a wall charger, low voltage wall charger. This one is a charger with a variable output. And the nice thing with DC and variable speeds and variable uh, 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 voltages outputs is that as higher the voltage is, as strong as the pump uh, pumps the water and vice versa. Or a low voltage adapter with a fixed voltage. This is one with 4.5 volt. The USB batteries have a 5 volt output. Okay, so this is what comes with the package when you get the fountains. You have a bowl, you have the lid, you have a filter, either a Trinkwell 360 or one of our own biofilters. The biofilters is one where you have uh, loose charcoal inside. So the charcoal is in a, in a media bag. Oh, there's none in. So here's a media bag and you fill the charcoal in, it comes filled with charcoal. Then you put the media bag inside, inside, put a ring, this ring here on top. It's just to prevent that the uh, sex the media bag don't uh, get catched with, uh, from the uh, thread and blocks it. So and then you screw it, screw the the uh, lid back on, connect the pump, connect this part to the spout and put it in. So we'll do it here. The pump is already connected to the filter. In this case it's a, you see, you easiest thing is you hold the, 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 the tube here. Uh, by the way, these tubes are antimicrobial uh, beverage grade tubing. It's vinyl tubing, so it's, uh, it has uh, uh, silver particles embedded in the material, so it's antimicrobial. So you unscrew it and then and then you have the Drinkwell 360 cartridge in here. It's the easiest thing. You just, for exchanging, you pull the cartridge out after two, three weeks and put a new one in. So let's connect this again. As I said, it comes connected. So just push it in so that it's uh, approximately a quarter inch of tubing inside. Okay, and then screw it back on. Turn it so that it lays approximately like this, just next to it. Grab your, your lid, hold it firmly. 
you take the, uh, the tubing coming from the filter and you see here push it in into the spout. So you should push it in approximately 3 eighths of an inch, half inch, depends. So, so that it lays next to it. You see here is a black mark. The black mark goes where this indentation is. So then we are put the pump in. Make sure the suction cups here, that if the pump has three suction cups, are firmly attached to the floor. Put the cable through this notch. And remember, here is a black mark. Put your finger, one finger here on the black mark, and then you can feel the notch. You can feel the notch here with your finger. Hold the cable down and okay, put it on. Then, then you have a sieve. It's stainless steel. It's a special stainless steel. It's stainless steel 303, or it's called in Europe they call it A2. A2. It's a high-grade stainless steel. And the stainless steel has a the sieve has a foam pad inside, filter foam. And this thing catches hair and food rests and bigger stuff. Put it in. You can here you also get a stainless steel uh, pin. You can secure this uh, this sieve with the stainless steel pin. So now your cat can't pull it out. Okay, so where was it? Here. Okay, remember finger and good. And you have a sieve cover. It's ceramic, glaze in the same glaze like the lid. Put it on top so it's for optic. Okay, now we have water in, filter in, pump in, and let's connect it to. Oh, we also have a pre filter. So, this is another possibility. You can put this pre filter around your pump. So, I push the pump inside. So this uh, uh, gives you a bit of a better, yeah, it, it prevents the pump from clocking, just in case some stuff still goes through the filter, through this pre-filter into the bowl, but we don't use it now for demonstration. And the pump has a flow control. You can't see it. So it's flow control. Make sure the flow control is fully open. Okay, finger, that's a notch. And close it. Good. So, for demonstration, we use now the uh, variable speed remote. Plug it in. Plug this one. I'm not sure you can see it. Yeah, plug this one in. Switch it on and wait. Okay, here it goes.
So you hear a bit of a water sound, mostly from the back falling water into the bowl. And this stream hits the surface and makes a bit of a nice noise. So let's see how it goes with a higher speed. This is now 4.5 volt. Let's switch it to 6 volt. Here from the side, 4.5. Six, seven point five, nine. We don't do more. We could do the twelve, but uh, it's first of all, it's not good for the pump, and second, it's not. It might flow over. So let's go back to. Six or even four point five. Ah, let's use six. Okay, good. So let's use uh, USB. It's uh, iMuto. We have an adapter here. So iMuto has two possibilities. Let's use just one and connect the other one to the pump. Okay. Now it runs with battery power. You can hide the battery or the cable somewhere behind or in a box or in the drawer or wherever. If you don't like to have the cable outside, then you can use one of our cordless fountains.